Hey guys, what's up? It's Paul. Whoa, today I have an absolute insane figure that I'm going to be bringing you. Now, if you guys follow my channel, if you guys watch the other videos, then this is different because I usually do Mythic Legions, but I also love things that go well with Mythic Legions. And this guy, I saw him pop up on uh, one of the toy store sites, Big Bad Toy Store, as a pre-order a while back, maybe six, eight months ago. And I thought to myself, this guy is pretty insane. He's crazy looking. He might go, well, I just got to take a chance on him and see what he's all about. I figured this guy would be just a really cool video or make a very cool video. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, where did that guy come from? I never heard of that, never saw that before. So unless you were like, you know, really watching the toy things and what's coming out, you're going to miss this guy altogether. And it's this crazy figure. He's still available all over the place. He just came out a couple weeks ago. This is an ant soldier by Snail Shell. So... I don't even know where to begin with this weird thing. This is this company called Snail Shell. And apparently they're a Chinese toy company. They make some really cute stuff for the most part. And this is their like artist collaboration ant soldier with uh, a gentleman named Mr. Cezan. He's a famous Chinese artist that actually did a garage kit of called the ant. And I guess it was very similar to this. I did some research to try to find pictures, but I'm, I didn't see anything. But from what I understand, he did a garage kit. Now this company, Snail Shale, decided to create an action figure based on his garage kit. So they both worked together to design this guy. They talk about how they prototyped it over and over to find you know, great articulation and, and that this thing is really articulated. And Mr. Shazen did the paint on this, prototyped all that out, designed the paint scheme and all that. So this figure is just uh, no idea what it's actually going to look like. I've never seen one in person. I saw pictures. It's supposed to have uh, some swappable arms or hands. It comes with like a sword, a dagger and... I, I think even switch out, you can switch out the mandibles, I think. I don't know. We're going to look at it together for the first time. So let, let's let break the seal on this guy. And, uh, oh, wait, first, before I do that, check out the back of the box. Really cool artwork sort of uh, set up here on the back of the box. Most everything is written in Chinese, so very little can, I don't know what it says. Then the sides of the box have some beautiful photography. Now, they call this on the box artist co-branded collection on, um, you know, a lot of the advertisements that I've seen in the different uh, online toy stores, they call it artist collaboration. So just a note. And then there's the other side. Beautiful photos. Uh, you know, these uh, they're lit beautifully, really well done. I have no idea what this guy's going to be like to try to photograph. Um, but we're going to try. We're going to take some pictures of him and see so you guys can get a general idea. But let's do this a little different from my normal videos. Let's cut this guy right now. And let's just pop this open to get a reaction together as to what this figure looks like. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool looking. I see he has... Uh, weapons in the back the clamshell he looks like he has a double clamshell oh my god look at these tiny little hands the extra hands he comes with those are small jeez yep and then he has a stand that kind of is a kind of a cube a dioramic cube that's funny. He's really funny looking in there. It kind of looks like a big ant got stuck in the box. 
All right, well, let's let's take this guy over to the table. Let's have a good look at him. I'll pop him open. We'll check out his articulation, and then I'm going to do a series of photographs. Uh, this way you get a good idea of, like, how poseable he looks, the different can setups you can have with the guy. And, yeah, I'm excited. It, it's pretty cool looking. I can't wait to get him out of here and see him up close. Just being able to see the paint through this thing and the little pieces... That's pretty cool. All right, let's go take a look. So here he is in his little plastic prison. Awesome looking figure through the box. It's so comical. He almost looks like he's frozen in carbonite or ice or something. I don't even know. But the packaging is nice. He's very delicate looking, so this packaging makes a lot of sense to get him to his destination safe. He has the weapons in a little clamshell thing in the back. Here's a quick look at the one sword he comes with. He also comes with this little knife. He comes with these two, which fit together. Very small little connection point there, but then they form this spear. You can see the head of the spear there. Here's a look at the itty bitty hands he comes with. They're so small. So here's a look at the base he comes with. Kind of has a, you know, a cutaway section of an ant nest feel to it. And then in the top he has the, there's the two plugs that I'm sure plug into the back of his feet and a hole there which allows you to put this slightly articulated stand in to hold him. So it's nicely done. We're going to stick that in there real quick. See how that, yep, goes in there. And then that sort of has a slightly invisible look to it to help him stand. I feel like this guy is not going to want to stand on his own. Like... I, I can't imagine, uh, you know, I think he's going to need a little bit of assistance. So the stand to me is probably necessary. Or you could, like, prop him on something. Oh, look, this dead ant just fell out of the box. Oh, there he is. Look at that. He's very light. Oh, he's light. Let's get this stuff out of the way. It's cool looking. I don't know how much articulation he has, but let's see. Oh, he's got some there. It's cool. His head moves. His little mandibles move. His little antenna scoot around on his head. That's pretty cool. They don't feel... They just kind of spin around and such. The head's got some articulation. A ball joint at the head. A ball joint like at the chest, stomach. And the thorax. His little legs. Got some movement there back and forth. Yeah, pretty good. Again, too, I'm just opening them up. Sometimes these guys can be a little stiff when you open them. But he's got movement. Look at that. Like an ankle in that thorax there knee bends and twists kicks out this doesn't turn but it is a movable hip there's a a ball joint in there if you can see it might be tough to see there's a little ball joint there nice does his elbows yeah a little elbows move the arms got some back and forth shoulder kind of movement what about this one Okay, they don't really kick out to the side too much. That's about, you know, as wide as you can spread his arms, I'd say, about right there. Of course, you can bend him at the elbow to make him look a little wider. And his hands, if you, you can see his little hands, very delicate little fingers. So we're going to have to use some extreme care. I'd rather not this be a video of how I broke something. 
These little arms down here, the second set of arms, kick out pretty far. Ah, oh, he's very cool. But first impressions are that he's a pretty cool figure. Let's see. See if we... There is no way we're going to get this guy to stand. Let's, let's try for a second. Let's just give him a, a minute and see if we can't get him to stand. Yeah, if you get him to stand, uh, it's going to be very precariously balanced, to say the least. I think you're going to need to uh, have a little something and sort of cheat in the photos to get him to balance well, but we'll give it a shot. His little antenna go out to the sides. It's kind of funny. I guess, yeah, you can twist them too, so... They go down. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, kind of a cool dude. Pretty cool dude. The paint job is nice on him. Let's see if I can get him in real close. Show you what's going on here. If it gets in focus. Yeah, he's got some neat uh, metallic type paint to him. And there's a lot of depth in that color. I think you can pick up the kind of golds. Very nice, very nice. I like the colors on them. The detail and the sculpt. This was apparently made uh, by or with 3D scans by uh, really quite nice detail on him. Yeah, he's a cool figure. It's kind of why I wanted to do the video, you know, get people to, to see what's out there. His wrists twist, his hands twist, but I don't think there's any wrist articulation. Well, I, I attempted to move them. They all twist a little bit. Yeah, so they'll twist and pop out, I'm sure, pretty easy to uh, put the other hands in. But there's no wrist articulation. So I'm sure, like, you know, when you see the photographs, I'll work them through the range of motion so you can see, you know, what they're capable of doing. He's a pretty neat figure, though. He's, he's really kind of creepy looking and cool. I don't know if he's, uh, how tall he is. They had this guy listed as... Like a six inch figure. We'll, we'll compare him with some other figures. In fact, here is a Mythic Legion's Gorgo. You can get an idea of, of just about how tall this guy is next to him standing there. A size comparison to Mythic Legion's. Still pretty cool ant monster, you know. So, and his scale looks good with those guys you know he, he's smaller but it it fits it it is in a good scale with mythic legions here he is standing on his little base you can see the stand there it snaps into his back and helps hold him up this so let's test this articulation he has and see how many ways I'm able to pose him and see if we can get some dynamic photos out of him.
Well, that was really wild. That guy is so weird. Man, it was crazy trying to figure out how to pose him, how to show him his colors, you know, and everything. That's why I took him outside to shoot him because I wanted you guys to really be able to see the colors. And uh, so we tried some neat new stuff, but he really did photograph well in the fight scene with the Mythic Legions. Um, you know, I like that scale and like when he attacked and everything, I had fun with that. That was, I liked the way that came out. So I am kind of happy with the figure. There are a few bad things. Uh, even though he has good articulation, there are big limitations. You know, his, uh, his standing is really bad. I couldn't use the stand to make him tripod because the thing is just too loose. But you can kind of bend his legs and put him on his thorax and feet. And he kind of tripods that way is pretty much what I was doing for the photos. So that's kind of what I did to make it work. And um, he he's a really weird figure. Like his lower arms go out to the sides pretty far. And you can get them to do some really cool things. It really reminded me of the alien queen you know from aliens with her little second set of arms so i love those and the top arms um they have a larger shoulder cap and that really limits how much the arms will go back you know they kind of hit a spot and that shoulder stops them so you can't really do too much especially like if he's holding the sword or something like that there's no wrist i mean they they spin but but that's it. So his hand is really locked in that position, which kind of limits where that sword is going. It kind of makes it a little hard to, to show him like doing a sword fight. But it's still a fun figure. One of my biggest complaints is probably the way he has to be displayed like on a shelf. Because he's kind of locked into that cube that he stands on. And that's not bad or anything. But... It's uh, like I like to set my guys up and they all kind of have a, you know, a certain look to them or I'll put them in a diorama. And this guy, I'm going to have to figure something out or even maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out because I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to display him. But he is a cool figure. And if you're into like weird insects, creepy things, you know, this guy is pretty cool. He's pretty neat. He looks good. They did a good job with him. Um, you know, it could have been a little better, but he's not bad. And he is still available right now uh, at the time that I'm making this video anyway at a lot of different uh, online retailers. So um, you can find him if you're interested. I'm really curious because I doubt too many people have seen this guy. Like, I'm really curious how many views we're going to get on the video here. And, and what people are going to say. So please, if you think uh, the insect, the ant soldier guy is cool, let me know. If you think uh, he's meh, let me know. I'm, I'm dying to hear what everybody thinks. I saw it in a pre-order and I just kind of thought, let's go for it. I wanted to also give a big shout out to my new friend Joshua, who I met at... ToyCon New Jersey this past weekend. He saw me at the show, came up and introduced himself and told me he watches the show. It was awesome to meet you, my friend. You know, I'm in New Jersey. I do toy shows and different kind of cons in New Jersey. If anybody ever sees me, please come on up and say hello. And of course, I'm going to be doing Legion's Con in November. I'm so excited about that. I'm going to have a bunch of displays and 3D printed things, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So, hey, thank you all again. I appreciate everyone for liking and subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Toys in Motion.